Hi. Hi, babe. What's that? It's our new boat. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> this is our beautiful new McGregor. Yep, we got some work to do and we can't wait to start listing all the stuff we're gonna have to do on it before we get going. But we're ready for uh, refit. Yeah, we are. As they say, get it <laughs> off the hard. Yeah. And we gotta set a splash date so that we have a hard time to get in the water. Totally. <laughs> Not that we're doing a big crossing or anything, but. No. Pretty sweet, we're pretty excited. Yeah. Yeah, hooked up already. Matches the truck perfectly. <laughs> it's time to go. sitting at the lake um, about an hour and a half ago the vet came to our house and we had it scheduled in the last bunch of days has been really really hard on, uh, on Piper and she was in a lot of pain and really uncomfortable and they came to the house and gave her a sedative and she fell asleep and is gone now and it was actually one of the more peaceful things that I've been part of. It and I, was. And I can't imagine something that, a better way to say goodbye and, and um, give her love to help her go. That was a uh, emotional but beautiful it was good. thing. Yeah. It was so nice to have the vet come to the house and sure. to um, do the process there. She just laid on her bed and where she's comfortable and happy. Mm -hmm. And he just cuddled and loved her. And she had her just a relaxing sleep. And then she was gone. Yeah. And that was it. And there was lots of tears. Yeah. There still is. We brought a beehive yeah. of Kleenex <laughs> down here with us. And yes. It's weird how you adapt. I mean, the last six months we've changed everything because... She's been sick. She's been sick. So we, how we do everything, how we hang out together, how we get her in the car, how, what we go do. Feeding them, walking them, all of it. It's yeah. all been it's so different. So different. Yeah. And yeah. it's all going to be so much more different now. It is. We had a really awesome weekend this weekend out we of the trailer as we packed it up to sell it, to give, to leave it. And she had the best time. She did. She was running and it's funny. everybody there. was giving her so many treats and love and yeah. she was playing with the puppies and it was just, it was we, kind of like her farewell weekend. It was awesome. It was. It's funny because yeah. like the last couple of weeks, she almost was walking on a peg leg with her one arm. When yeah, her one arm was so swollen, it was so her leg was so swollen, it was so bad. And uh, we got there, and she's limping around, and she saw the owner, <laughs> who's in his eighties and and is the hardest working man I've seen in ever. Yes. And he drives around <laughs> in his golf cart, doing irrigation and mowing lawns and cutting trees and stuff, and he keeps a little bucket of dog treats in the cart. And all the dogs in the whole park just go nuts. They just love them. <laughs> and as soon as she saw the cart, she was gone. It's like the she, ice cream truck showed up. <laughs> she, she ran across the lawn and we were like, what the heck? <laughs> She doesn't move that fast anymore. Oh, she had the best time and she didn't leave his side. Or every time he yeah. drove by, her ears would perk up. She's like, oh. Gary's golf, here. <laughs> golf cart guy. It was beautiful. It was. It was perfect. Yeah. And today I think she knew it was kind of coming. She, she had a hard day. So yeah. I was in meetings all day in the office and I could hear her whimpering and I'd run up to see if she's okay and she would just stand there and have that gaunt look at me like, you know, it, it's hard. It's, it's hard. Really hard. You know, and she had these fleeting moments of still being a pup and... And, and that made it even harder it to did. make the decision. Completely. But to see her fall asleep and yeah. just take those big deep breaths like, oh, I can rest. Yeah. And she put all of her weight, I know, I know Tamara had her hands under her head and she just settled right into it and was just breathing so softly and... It was perfect. It, it was. It was really perfect. We're gonna miss her. Yep. Mm -hmm.
that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. As you saw the other day, we finally have the boat and we're getting it ready. But along with the new boat comes a whole lot of boat jobs. So we put together a quick list of the things that we can see that need done on the boat. And we're going to work through in a uh, boat jobs in progress and completed. It's going to be fun. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started on this and uh, make our boat ours. So check this out. We got our part at our buddy's house so we can do all our work. We got the mast. We hoisted the mast. We got the inside of the boat all cleaned out so we can start doing some cleaning. We're securing it so we can walk on it. It's not too shaky. And it's time to make this happen. So super excited. It was so easy to get the mast up, which was great just as easy as they say it is. Just getting things packed up and ready for uh, uh, our little work party tonight. So I'm gonna start moving some stuff. This is the fun part. We'll work on that. Moving all the decals, getting everything prepped in the hall. Going to clean the head out. We're actually replacing the toilet, got a new one ordered. Um, what else do we got? Clean and polished interior, that's happening tonight. And cushions, that's probably a pretty good, oh, one more. I got the solar panels came in. I'm gonna start working on rigging those up too and mapping out where they're gonna go. So it's a decent list to get things rocking and in progress. What'd you do to my boat? I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just like that, we got a naked boat. First of many vacuums done in here, but all the bugs and the dust and all that kind of stuff. We're getting there. Hey, babe. We're getting there. We've got the. Uh, down now. Yeah, she's stripped down. It's time to put her back together again. That's cool. So a little bit of elbow grease and soap and water. And I'd say the first wash is done. It's white. <laughs> it's so much cleaner in here than it was about, I don't know, an hour ago. So one more deep clean and she'll be ready to rock and roll. I'm just plucking away here. I uh, took the uh, old porta potty out. We got a new one on order. So this will be uh, much easier to clean out now while we're in here. And uh, I just pulled out the, the 12 extra 12 volt uh, house battery that's in here. And we're going to install a uh, twin six volt. And uh, that will tie into our solar system. And that will run all of our electronics in here. Which there isn't a whole lot. We're not running a stereo or anything like that. That's all portable, but we want to make sure we have lots of power for the weekend and not have to fire up the motor to charge things. So you can see down in here, got a little bit of cleanup to do in there and then going to wire in and figure out how to get the two six volts down along inside here. So it's all kind of coming together and getting cleaned up. It's looking good. Pretty exciting stuff. So it's got a really, really simple plumbing system here. There's a, uh, there's two little hand pumps for each sink, one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. And uh, the way they work is you actually fill up a, a, a bladder and you bring it every time you go on board, you hook the hose up to the bladder and then it pumps out of the bladder. And then the sinks have a through hull where it uh, spills the, used water out the side, but the hoses are disgusting. And I kind of came up with a different system that we're gonna replace some of this stuff with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start disassembling all the plumbing right now and yard it out. Um, you'll see down in here, it's none of this has been used in years and it's all pinched off and gross, but it's all black and gross and dirty. And uh, we don't like black and gross and dirty. So 
we're gonna take that out and then I will get some new hoses and then we're gonna set up a different system so we can have clean water. So today's fun chore is taking all the cushions apart so we can take them home and give them a good wash. They've got a bit of a, like a mildewy feel to them kind of, like, I don't know, like a dirty feel. So we hope that we can wash them up and they're all in really good shape. They just need a, a quick cleaning and pretty fresh them up and make them happy boat action. Our little sun babies out here. So we got all of the cushions cleaned up, uh, smelling good, washed out. These ones we have to get re-stepped back in there and then we have the big uh, king size berth to do in the back. And then all of the front cushions are going to get a big scrub down today. So say hello to Cushion Day. Get it. Totally different, eh? They don't even look the same. No, we should do the top one. Wow. Yeah, we will. Sweet. Good job, baby. What's working on? Uh, just figuring out space uh, for electrical stuff we're doing. So we, this right now has a starter battery and a house battery, and we're switching it up to have a starter battery and two big six volt house batteries, plus an inverter and then a solar panel to feed it all so that it stays charged up. But I'm trying to reconfigure this so it actually has the space in the room for it. Right now it's got the battery selector is in the corner inside here. And I think we're gonna actually move it out to the outside so it's accessible. And then I'm gonna have to build a battery tray in here for the two six volt house batteries and the starter battery. So I'm just sort of mapping that out, but it's a little bit of a job to be honest. So. And then the fridge is going, it's gonna get closed up. Then this will get closed up. We won't have to access it if we need to, we can. And then our new 12-volt uh, fridge will go right on top of here. It actually fits perfectly into this spot. So then we can actually mount it here so it's not flying around. Perfect. But yeah, I think it's going to be good. Awesome. Okay, so we just ripped up the 20-year-old carpet that was in here. And we've got some new uh, Fotik that's going to go in and give it a really nice, clean, fresh look to it. But if you look, that's all the dust that's collected under the carpet just being in here for all of those years. It's kind of disgusting. So... And if you clean as a whistle when you're done, babe. It sure is. Woo. So I'm going to get my vacuum on and get rid of all of this dirt and then it's scrubby town. Wish me luck. This person in the crew is not always what it's cracked up to be. You get to fit in the really tiny spaces for the tiny jobs. Ugh. So much cleaning in here and it is squishy. <laughs> Okay, everything is clean. We've got everything mucked up. The carpets are out. We've moved the uh, uh, battery switch to the outside of here. We've cleaned up all in here. We've got our mounting mats in here. We've got the six volts ready to go in in here. So we're gonna have a 12 volt starter battery in the front. Two deep cycle six volts right after it. And then we gotta figure out how to get the inverter and solar panel set up. But uh, we're getting close on this part, it's cool. It's nice to see some progress today. So, um, we just got our new porta potty and I'm trying to figure out what the best place to put it is gonna be closer to the wall or a little bit further this way and put in some new brackets to hold it down. Wish me luck, it's potty time. Okay, so got power all installed. I built a nice pad in here, anchors. So you can see right now we got all kinds of power going on in there which is awesome we moved our switch out to the outside okay i just mounted and wired the inverter so this gives us 2000 watts of continuous power a 4000 watt surge I mounted it right up here along the side of the galley here and now it's the fridge is going to go in beside it and just building a little brace and a shelf for it 
So we still have access to the batteries. And uh, as you can see, powering this up, we got power. We got two uh, regular standard 110 volt plugs plus USB. And uh, this is all the power we're gonna need in here, I think. I know it looks like an absolute disaster in here, but we do have our fridge set up. It's secure and stable. Can open it from the side. There she be. It's running, it's getting cold already. Batteries all hooked up and ready to rock and roll. Got this nice little strap on here that uh, Josh bent around uh, to keep her stable and not to go anywhere. Pretty wicked. We have a fridge. We've been uh, burning the midnight oil every night, putting in about three or four hours after work uh, on the boat. And we've been getting there, so checking out our work board here. Got a, quite a few things in progress from the uh, get started list to the boat in progress jobs. And to complete it, we actually got a couple down there now. So um, we got some Tamara on her lunch today, took in some cushions to get fixed or remade at a uh, place downtown. And last night we got uh, the fridge done, the bathroom pretty much done, started cutting the new flooring. Um, tonight when I get there, I'm going to start working on setting up the uh, solar panels. And yeah, it's coming along pretty good. This is a great way to manage everything that you're doing and just to keep progress. And it makes you feel good to see things get moved to the completed list. It's fun. So fun opening new toys. Now I got to see if I can figure out how to make these. New panels fit on the deck of here and give us our power. It's pretty cool. Now we're on to the next electrical project our solar panel. So we just got it all measured out so it fits on there perfectly. We're going to get the holes drilled through, get that mounted in the panel, um, and then try and figure out how we're going to deal with the wiring after the fact. So that's done. And then last thing that we did is we got our anchor locker all cleaned up. She's sparkly clean, ready to go. We did an inspection of the anchor and the chain and the line and everything looks good. So we won't have to replace any of that. The shackles look all good. So good news. One less thing that we need to replace. All right, it's time to mount some solar panels. Off we go. Okay. Hi babe, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm cutting our teak flooring. Awesome. With my exact measurements of a baby finger. Awesome. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Oh. Do that there. Let me bring that there. Is that to the edge far enough? Yep. So. Yeah, that looks good. We can pull it back this way just a little bit so it doesn't hit the edge, like bump up on the edge, but that'll be awesome. That's perfect. Uh oh. Oh, it looks great. This stuff's going to be awesome in here. Look at that. It's so different. Modern. And then this guy here. It's very modern. Wow. They are both so fancy. <laughs> cool. Let's get this guy cut and pack up for the night. All right. Mm -hmm. High five. Good girl. High five. Good girl. Gentle. Gentle. Look at that little snaggle too. <laughs> yeah. He's so happy. Are you so happy? You are happy. Okay, what shall we do now? Can we go up? Up. Good girl, Zoe. Can you go up high for up? <laughs> you know, no. You're so tall, you're right. <laughs> I heard everywhere right now. Do you have any idea? Sit. How do I believe in? Sit. I don't think I know it. Tell me there's a reason. Thank you. Good girl, Zoe. <laughs> And one more cousin love ya.